for tea. Mm. And actually, we can we can remove about 100 calories um, a day from people's diets just by reducing the amount of sugar. And actually, people won't notice it. You know, in a few years' time, it will just become the taste mm. they're accustomed to. Oh, we should do, I just also want to point out, you mentioned diabetes yeah. there, and it's type 2 diabetes uh, link, linked to uh, excessive absolutely, weight. Absolutely. Type, type 1, an entirely different effect. Uh, uh, yes, absolutely. You're right to pick me up on that. Yeah, right. quite um, right. there, let's talk about something different now. This is a new kind of gastric balloon held as a new weapon in the fight against obesity. Um, what, what's different about this one and what makes it so great? Yeah, this is fascinating. So this has come from the States. So we've heard about gastric balloons, but this one doesn't need to be inserted what we call endoscopically. Right. Okay, so it's it's in a tiny capsule, a gel capsule, um, and once they've inserted it into the stomach... So so it's you swallow attached it? To, you swallow it. It's attached to a small tube. Once it's inserted into the stomach, the uh, gel capsule will dissolve and you can then expand the, oh, uh, wow. the balloon in the stomach. Um, and so what, of course, that does in the same way that, um, that, that uh, sort of current gastric balloons do is it fills the stomach. Give, giving people a sense that actually um, they've already got food in their stomach and that tends to mean that they eat a lot less. So the difference being that this time there's no surgery involved um, because you're actually swallowing it and then once it's inflated they pull that tube out and it has a self-sealing valve which, which keeps it inflated. Which keeps it inflated, exactly. And you can, you can have it there for sort of three to six months. It still needs to be removed endoscopically yeah. um, and of course all of these there's a risk that they could potentially deflate um, and if that happens they can enter into the intestines and cause obstruction. But so the, so it's not long term. Come with not in the long -term last sort of yeah. just 15 seconds that we've got, uh, a lot of people saying, uh, certainly medical professions saying, well, this would just encourage you not you can eat unhealthily because you know you just swallow that and then uh, it'll sort your appetite out. Exactly. You know, it's spot on. It should always be alongside dietary and lifestyle changes. Lovely. Thank you. Thank Very you. much Thank indeed. You. Uh, right, still to come, Ross Kemp on Going Undercover. Tom Parker Bowles is in the kitchen and we've got all the gossip from Emmerdale with the big boss. Lovely. Uh, after the news, so go away. This morning, I'm taking them to the park. Boots sponsors this morning. My love has no beginning, my love has no end. 